it's Rhiannon again, back to talk to you about another book that I have been really enjoying lately. The book I'm going to talk about today is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. It's her new book, came out about two months ago and it is incredible. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be sent a proof copy of this book by Macmillan in exchange for my honest opinion, um, but then I immediately went and bought the hardback as soon as I could, so I think that just shows you how much I loved it. I've never heard of Naomi Novik before. She has a very popular series called Temeraire about dragons, but her best book, in my opinion, is uh, Uprooted, which is sort of like a dark fairy tale twist, and Spinning Silver is like in the in the vein of Uprooted. And so I was, I had such high hopes for Spinning Silver and she did not let me down. She is an incredibly talented writer who just uses the most beautiful language, like very simple, but just like devastating. So the book is set in a fantasy world, um, but one that is kind of similar to our own. Um, it's very heavily inspired by Russian folklore and mythology. So in this fantasy world, there are these people called the Staric who live in a kingdom that runs sort of like parallel to the main kingdom, the human kingdom, and the Staric land is one of everlasting winter and you know they're like made of ice and they can create a road that will just like appear in your village, they'll come through, they'll steal everything from your house and take your wives and then they'll disappear again, they're sort of like the fairy tale monsters of the story. Um, and there's always a threat that they'll come to your village unless you provide them with the tithes and things like that. So the novel centres around three women, um, Miriam, who is the daughter of the town moneylender, Wanda, who lives in the same town as Miriam, but comes from a very horrible <laughs> household, and she's employed by Miriam as like a handyman around the house, and then Irina, who is the daughter of a very powerful duke, who gets thrown into this arranged marriage. So these three stories sort of interweave and connect. Uh, Miriam's story is that she um, is tasked with turning silver into gold for the Staric, sort of like a Rumpelstiltskin type thing, um, but the way she does it is by um, trading it, not with magic. And then Wanda is sort of wrapped up in it because she lives in Miriam's house. Irina, her storyline deals with her marriage to the future Tsar, but there's something very strange about him. I don't really want to explain anything more than that because one of the beautiful things about Naomi Novik's novels is that you just have literally no idea what's going to happen next and everything you think is going to happen happens within the first hundred pages and then you're you still got like 400 pages left of the book so it's it's very nice going into it and just having very little idea about what's going to happen. What I can talk about is the characters because Naomi Novik writes characters so beautifully and especially female characters which obviously is something I adore reading because I love complicated women. So Although Novik sort of switches between these three women's point of view throughout the book, they never sound similar. Like, she doesn't even signpost, you know, uh, some authors do, like, the character name when it's a new chapter. She doesn't do that. She switches in between chapters. And at first I thought it was going to be very, like, confusing because you're suddenly just like, wait, where am I? But it's not at all. It's just she immediately captures the essence of that character's voice. Uh, so Miriam and Wanda from the same village, so, like... I thought there was a risk that they would sound the same, but they definitely don't. Miriam is very, like, sharp and intelligent, and it just comes across immediately in the way Novik portrays her. And then Irina, you can tell from the writer that she's been educated, that she is much more delicate, that she's a lot more naive than the other two women, and it's it's really interesting to watch her, like, come to grips with with her life and with this world that she's been forced into. And then you have Wanda, who is just... I love her so much. I think she might be my favourite character. She's just so, like, resolute and headstrong, and she has this gorgeous relationship with her siblings. She has two brothers, and it, they're just written in a really lovely way. It's not often that you see brother-sister relationships, in my opinion, uh, in fantasy written, sort of like, they're sort of, either the brothers are, like, killed off, or they're just not very nice people, um, but this is, like, they're, like, a little unit, and they just stick together, and it's very, very sweet to read. If you like fantasy or retold fairy tales, I would highly recommend this book. I'd recommend all of Naomi Novik's book, but this one in particular is just, it's so beautifully done, it's so well written. You can really tell that she's just spent so much time crafting this world that she allows you to visit, um, and my only criticism is that I want more, <laughs> like, um, I want, I want seven books set in this world. I just, I want to, I, I never want to leave it. That's the trouble with Naomi Nova because she just writes this incredible one book and you're sort of like, 
no, <laughs> give me more, please. Um, so that's literally the only problem I had with it was that I felt like it and she cut me off when I was when I wanted to stay. Um, but it's really it's really incredible. It's if you like diverse female characters, then this is definitely the book for you. And who doesn't like reading about different kinds of women allowing themselves to make mistakes and have plans that don't go well and then outsmarting silly men in their lives. It's just, honestly, I'm gonna be talking about this book forever because I love it so much and I hope you do too. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day.